why is the dropout rate so high? Again, we're going really down in the dumps with these questions. All right, here we go. Why is the dropout rate so high? Many people go into engineering, but once they get to sophomore or junior year, they drop out for another major. Is it true that engineering requires a lot of commitment? I watched some videos on YouTube about thermodynamics, and that looks so hard. Well, okay, I'm guessing this is a high school kid. So yeah, especially if you don't have any of the fundamentals to understand thermo. Yeah, thermo is hard. Because there's a lot of prerequisites that you have to take before to kind of get the general principles behind thermo. The, the dropout rate is very high because it does require a lot of commitment. Here are some reasons why the dropout rate is so high. First of all, the material. The material is challenging. There are a lot of very difficult concepts that need to be understand, understood and grasped in order to make it through an engineering program. The next one is the rigor. An engineering program has a lot of required coursework. If you look at the, at the number of credit hours required for different majors, Engineering is generally the highest one. So that means you're taking a, if you want to graduate in four years, then you're taking a pretty full load all the way throughout college. Additionally, that load, that credit hour load is kind of underinflated. And the reason why is because engineering courses have a lot of lab, engineering majors have a lot of lab courses. And traditionally, the way that lab courses work is if you're, uh, tr the way that credit hours work is if you spend if you it's if a three hour if it's a three credit hour class you spend three hours in class and then the golden rule is you spend three times that many hours outside of class studying for it then you have lab classes that you get one credit hour for so it only looks like one on your transcript but actually that lab is three hours long and you're spending yes the whole nine hours outside of class working on it so look at that credit hour disparity and then increase it it, it, it is just a rigorous program. I mean, one semester I was taking 15 credit hours, but three of those 15 credit hours were all one credit hour laps. So it was like the equivalent of 21 hours. It was crazy. It was insane. And somebody with that same load added an additional three credit hour class on top of it. And I was like, what are you doing? It was like, it was like taking 24 credit hours. It was insane. And so... Again, it's rigorous. There's a lot of a lot of classes in there. And the other one is is that some programs are a lot more learning and then you just take like multiple choice or you write essays and you do stuff like that. Um, and over the material you learned and you just kind of regurgitate the material that you learned. But engineering, the way it works is you learn the material, you learn the foundations, and then you have to apply apply it in completely different ways than you've seen it applied before. And other majors do this as well, but that's one thing that makes engineering very difficult is it's not only the learning of the material, but also the learning about how to problem solve on top of that. And then I don't say that, by the way, I don't say this all the way to, to scare you uh, at all, but yeah, the two points of engineering are learning the fundamental understanding and then also learning how to problem solve. Those are the two purposes of an engineering degree. Um, and then why else is the dropout rate for engineering so high? Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. It's difficult material. Uh, you have to really study. You have to really study hard to learn how to apply things and really fully understand things to do well on exams. I mean, all of that, and it's it's a lot. So yeah, that's why the engineering dropout rate's for all, so high. The other one is, is that it's not for everybody. It just simply isn't for everybody, but... A lot of people want to see if it's for them because they're told that it's a, a lucrative career and engineering degrees are great, and they are. So that's the other reason why the dropout rate is so high is because a lot of people that don't know if it's suited for them start out in engineering to see if it's suited for them, and that is okay. There is nothing wrong with dropping out of an engineering program and realizing it's not for you because there are plenty of other ways to have a successful career a satisfying life and a rewarding life than just getting an engineering degree and working as an engineer. But I will say it's been a nice start for me. So that's why the dropout rate is so high. And yes, it does require a lot of commitment, but don't psych yourself out by watching videos about thermodynamics. You're, that's like sophomore year, junior year stuff. Don't start that in high school. But yeah, keep your head up. Um, don't worry about it right now just 
kind of take it one thing at a time and i wish you the best of luck